May was a pretty tough market uh, for the Australian share market. It was down 2.8%. Uh, underperforming global indexes. Actually, most global indexes were flat or even, even slightly up. And that's Australia playing a bit of catch up. The, the, the Aussie index has um, actually been pretty flat for this calendar year, outperforming the US you know, by over 10%. Um, so a bit of catch up for the Australian market. Delving a little bit deeper, um, energy had a phenomenal month. It was up 20%, uh, the sector, with the oil price up 12%, over $120. So a good result for the energy sector. Resources did pretty well, BHP Rio did pretty well, whereas the industrial sectors all were down, pretty much every single one of them. So pretty tough um, for the industrial space. In, in regards to the IML portfolios, um, you know, we're also down, but better than the market, we're down uh, 2%. For the month, key key holdings, Amcor had a, had a good month. It was up nine percent, and uh, we've been going on about Amcor for quite a number of years, uh, and, and they had a, you know quite a, a good quarterly result and uh, a slight profit profit upgrade. Uh, they're, they're looking to grow profits nine and a half to eleven percent this year. Um, not bad in, in a, an inflationary environment. So good outcome there. Our, our worst performing stock was, was Channel Nine. That was down 18% for the month, with the market uh, a, a bit more worried about the outlook for the consumer and, and a potential recession in, in Australia. Um, the stock to us looks incredibly cheap. Um, when, when you back out the domain holding, the, the company's trading on about six times earnings. Um, so incredible value. Uh, we like the business a lot. Uh, and then finally, we had some corporate interest in Brambles. Um, you know, in our core holding the fund, and that, and that was also up 3% for the month. Look, look I, I think it's fair to say sentiment has shifted considerably. Um, if we look at 2020, 2021, you could really characterise those markets as very speculative. Uh, and, and if we look at uh, today, or 2022, um, there's definitely been a shift in momentum uh, in, investors are a lot more cautious and, and uh, they're much more focused on fundamentals. Um, so they care whether a company makes a profit, they care whether the company has Brazilian earnings, they care whether the balance sheet is strong and whether the company pays a dividend. Um, fundamentals that have been always important to us and uh, we're definitely seeing the market care much more about those things. So. Our portfolio this calendar year uh, so far ha has been you know, performing quite well in what's been a really turbulent time, particularly for those sort of higher risk, more speculative companies, the growth year companies. Um, so look, the portfolio looks well positioned as, as really the market deflates from what's been you know, one of the great speculative booms um, you know, in history uh, through 2020 and 2021.